Blog Talk Radio. Are you ready to take a bite out of the competition? Are you looking for ideas to make your business better? Welcome to the Core Business Show with Tim G.K. Sponsored by Apple Capital Group. At the core of every successful business, you'll find people making a difference. And with each episode of the Core Business Show, we talk with those people, examine those ideas, and explore the strategies that make them special. Now, the host of the Core Business Show, Tim G.K. Welcome to another edition of the Core Business Show. I'm Tim Jacquet, your host. Today's topic, I'm going to talk about five things large SEO companies don't want you to know. So if you want to chime in on this conversation, please feel free to call 347-324-3460. Let's go ahead and dive into it as five things that they don't want you to know. And when you choose a SEO company, it is a circus. You don't know who to trust. And you, everything is really subjective because someone can put themselves as being number one one day and all of a sudden they get knocked down from another SEO company the next week and it goes on and on. And you really don't know who to trust. I would say first thing you want to do is look at the proposals. First of all, you need to have a website, of course, if you're going to hire an SEO company. But one thing you want to do is go on and apply for uh, do a contact us and get proposals from a numerous amount of companies. So you can kind of weed through who the best, who's going to give you the best proposal, or are they saying the similar things? You know, some companies don't like you saying that, but probably I would say pick 20. And that's a good sampling. And then pick out the last three and see what type of professional results they're going to give you. And look at the cost because the cost is across the board. So here's some things that that's my advice when you want to look for an SEO company. Get some bids, get probably 10 to 20 samples. You can either go to the page search and get those off the first three, two or three pages and send those in and look at the organic. I mean, those are the natural listings that comes up and apply to them and get a good sampling and see what type of proposals are, are coming back. And that will kind of tell you the quality, how the person is pushing you, what they can do. Are they trying to give you some black magic? They're all going to talk about each other. But I think that's going to be the best way in order to find the best company for you. It can be expensive as you go into larger companies. So number one is, I'm going to name all five and I'm going to talk about each one quickly. Number one, false guarantees. Number two will be questionable ranking methods. Number three, Bias contracts. Number four, low quality work. And five, temporary rankings. False guarantees. Nobody can guarantee you're going to be number one. Nobody can guarantee you on page one. There's no guarantee. They can't guarantee you that. So if they're saying that, so they can say how we're successful in getting people on page one. Yes. But guaranteeing that you're going to be there and stay there, they can't guarantee you that. So if they're saying that, that's the one you want to avoid. But however, they, a lot of them are successful in getting you on page one on your relevant keywords. There's a lot of work you can do yourself by doing some research and reading, but it is a lot of work and things you need to do every single day to, to make those seeds and deposit. I would say use one to get you where you need to be and you do a campaign at the same time. And they're taking backlinks at one end. You want them to focus on you doing your part at the other end. So anyway, they can't guarantee you false, and all of them will tell you that. So if they say, I can guarantee you, no, that's not the one to go to. Okay. Also, some things they always would mention to you is pay-per-click. Pay-per-click is expensive to a small company. If you don't have a lot of money, you can go broke on pay-per-click. Pay-per-click is those little ads in Google that is boxed in that's a different color. It says sponsor search. It's expensive to do sponsor search. Only get that if it's worthwhile or you have a product or service that you can really afford. Make sure you set a budget for that amount so you can get the best dollar you can for it. It's very expensive. Also, Google will help you with this. Bing will help you with this as well. If it's going to be paid search, you're going to allocate 250 250 and spread that out through the month. Spread that out during the week that you're in business. Don't spread it out on the weekend when you're not so you can't respond 
right then and there, unless you have the money. Number two, questionable ranking methods. There are some will black hat and white hat. Some will take their time in trying to rank you organically. It takes time to go through the search engines to do that. So regardless, you need to make sure that ethical company is not black hat. That doesn't mean they're not doing some weird things in order to get you organically up there temporarily, but you will get knocked down. You also want to measure this by looking at your search results and look at your Alexa ranking. Maybe take a temporary subscription of CEO Moz to watch to see what they're doing and be able to monitor what they're doing. That's my advice as well. Regardless of how ethical a search marketing company claim to be, they are very, very few, if any, follow strictly white hat optimization practice. Okay? White hat doesn't mean the way that Google says you need to do it. And also, I would say go look at a Google Webmaster Tools and do a search on that and see what Google wants them to do. Okay? Number three, bias. They're always going to show you the top people. You want to see someone that they just started with. You can see at the end result that this company can be, but you know you don't know how much they paid to be at at the top. You don't know what all the information behind it. Ask them, you know, do you have a company that you just signed up? And then go from there. So let's take a break real quick, and we're going to go ahead and continue with the topic. Be back in a moment from a word from our sponsor. You're listening to The Core Business Show, sponsored by Apple Capital Group. Apple Capital Group in Jacksonville, Florida, is a commercial lender that specializes in asset-based loans, equipment leasing and financing, invoice financing, commercial real estate loans, and asset-based financing in the U.S. and Canada. Apple Capital Group is a direct lender that lends on their private equity investment portfolio. 90% of most loans are decided within two hours, and vendor funding within 24 hours after documents are completed with a one-page application. No slow no's, just a quick decision and a fast yes. To get more information about lending from Apple Capital Group, call 866-611-7457. That's 866-611-7457 to speak with one of our loan specialists. Or visit us right now at applecapitalgroup.com. Welcome back to The Core. Once again, here's Tim Jacquet. Welcome back to the core. Again, we were talking about SEO tips. So low quality work, you don't know unless you get a good sampling. A good sampling would be, I was on number three. Let's go back to number three. Again, get a good sampling of their best and you know, some of the people they just started with a month ago and see how they're progressing. Okay. And that's going to be your best option there. And do your own independent research on that company. Do your own independent research on the companies that they're presenting as clients. See if they're legitimate companies. See if it's not companies that they actually made up and they're ranking them. Call the company to see if they're still active or you got to do, again, you, this is the Wild Wild West, so you need to do your due diligence. It won't take that long to do. Just spend maybe a couple of hours in trying to, maybe on the weekend or three hours, and do some research on the company and the people they actually say, this is what we, what we did for them. But before you make a final decision, ask for some references. Now, of course, they're going to give you the best reference. So ask for some references as well. Okay, number four, low-quality work. And when it comes to off-site optimization, link building is key. SEO professionals understand that clients have very little or no understanding what is involved. And given this, we'll generally go about the campaign in the life cycle. Off-site is just important as versus on-site. Getting your website on-site is great. Getting it off-site to other sites and links, building is very important. And that's just going to get you your ranking and get you higher up. Of course, SEO firms rarely disclose exactly what they're doing. Ask them what they're doing because you're entrusting them with your business. They can either wreck you and have you blacklisted on Google, or they can have you as being a, a legitimate company on Google. So be careful on what you get. Number five, rankings are on temporary. Sometimes they can black hat you to try to get your ranking temporarily until the search engines come back around in 30 days or six weeks and catch up what you're doing. And if it's not the way they want it done, then you start dropping like a rock or you come off the search engines altogether. So be careful. Regardless, 
And what most SEO firms will tell you, search engine optimization is always an ongoing process with consistently changing. A glossy SEO proposal might be inviting, though you want to outrank your competition. Kind of keep in mind that your competition is spending money, spending time. They're doing this constantly. So it's a war that you have to fight continuously. Don't get me wrong in suggesting that SEO companies implement deceptive practices or tactics, but reputation is key. Doing your homework is key. Um, I'm going to put a shout out to, I think, who inspired this article with SEOtrainingkit.com. You, I would say reach out to them and say you heard this topic on the Core Business Show. Again, everybody, thank you for listening. I'm Tim J.K., your host, Core Business Show. Everybody, take care. And thank you for listening. Last thing, producers asking me, can you also go on iTunes and say you like the show or, you know, on Facebook, you like the show? We're just gearing up for the month of August. We've got an exciting show. Thank you guys for listening. Go ahead, give us some comments on iTunes or even on our website. Also, check out a new website. It's in development, the Core Business Show. If you have a guest topic or you want to advertise, go send the information or email to info at thecorebusinessshow.com. Everybody take care. Have a great day. Thank you for listening to The Core Business Show with Tim Jacquet. For a free quote on equipment leasing and financing, visit our website, applecapitalgroup.com. That's applecapitalgroup.com. And fill out the information to receive your free quote. We hope you'll join us for our next episode. And remember, you can always get to The Core via iTunes. You'll find all our previous episodes there. Thanks again for listening to The Core Business Show with Tim Jacquet.